all right good day guys welcome again to my channel i am joshua the designer and i create amazing content on structural engineering and civil engineering at large and if you're making contact with my channel for the very first time i like that you use the subscribe button and like this video also share with your friend that should get better in structural engineering so in this video i want to show you in simple steps how to determine or display your axial load of your columns right so you want to know what amount of load is being transferred to your column points or column elements from respective elements right or other structural elements you you might want to use this video all right so let's get straight into this in simple steps and you guys will be cool all right so with this we have um, my building model um ready had model these things um, already i have my building analysis set already and um, the design process have been um, done all right so what i need to do right now is to get back to my plan as you can see this is re this represent my foundation floor all right so and um you get yourself to the tab display tab all right so um this is pro structure 2021 mind you and if you're using the lesser version you might not find this um as it is here right but you may want to use um, one of my videos for that structure for beginners right on right on this channel all right so you'll find a way out on that to go ahead on this after you might have gotten to display panel you see the visual interrogation here you might want to use visual interrogation and um and afterwards you find on the left side you find the visual interrogation scene settings entity edges hidden line properties visibility filters column display beam plan display slab plan display effect contours and animation all right so from here what we just need to pay attention to is column display because that's exactly where we want to view a thing all right so you see the nodal load and the axial load right here so i want to see the axial load now not the bending moment this time and not the shear force this time all right so um you see this display transfer columns and walls on plan display column sections and command you might just um, want to do this appropriately as it suits you but for me i think i'm cool with this all right so if you want to view the nodal load you can as well use that the temperature load you may want to use that all right so i think um, i'm done here all right so i get to use my ok button all right so if you zoom in now and see um what exactly it is on individual column you can find the live load and the dead load shown on the respective columns all right i believe this video i've been able to have you help you display your load on um, your column the axial load this time all right so if you're new to my channel and you haven't subscribed i like that you use the subscribe button like this video and if you think you have a person that should get better with structural engineering you can share in this video and the channel link so we we'll meet in the next video i am joshua the designer bye